To begin changing a seal, loosen and remove the volute housing bolts. Now remove the volute from the motor adapter plate. The diffuser may stay in the housing or will remain on top of the impeller. Now remove the bolt holding the impeller to the shaft of the motor. Slide the impeller off of the shaft. Pull or pry out the rotating seal. The shaft sleeve may come off of the shaft or stay on the shaft. Now remove the four bolts holding the motor adapter plate. Remove the motor adapter plate and pry out the stationary seal. When installing a new seal, make sure the area of the seal's seat is cleaned with a light sandpaper. Use a light dish soap and apply it to the seal's outer surface. To prevent damage, make sure you do not come in contact with the seal's ceramic surface. Use the cardboard piece supplied with the seal kit and place it on top of the stationary seal. Using the force of your hands, press the seal down into the motor adapter plate. Reinstall the motor adapter plate. Slide the shaft sleeve on with the tapered end down. Slide the keyway onto the shaft with the wide end or boxed end down.
Now place the rotating seal onto the shaft with the ceramic side down. Place the impeller back onto the shaft and reinstall the bolt. Using a socket type wrench, tighten down the bolt with only the force of your hands. Do not use an impact wrench or power tool. Either using the existing gasket or a new gasket, place the gasket on the volute housing. Now place the diffuser back on top of the impeller with the notch sitting at about the 11 o'clock position. Reinstall the volute housing. The final step is to use a socket wrench and spin the impeller once everything is put back together. If the impeller does not spin, you have a problem with the installation.